You may have heard Zach Banner selected 137th overall in the 2017 NFL Draft. A banner often proudly displays the Guam flag, and he was selected by the Colts in the fourth round. The USC Trojan offensive tackle is from Washington State, six foot eight inches, tallest Chamorro ever, 353 pounds. Scouting report: Banner, a massive right tackle or guard prospect, has the power and size to overwhelm defenders as a run blocker. He possesses excellent length, but needs to show more patience and balance in pass protection. His weight will need to be monitored. Also played basketball at USC. It does a 40 and 5.5, 22 reps, 225 pounds at the combine. Jamal Agnew selected 165th overall by the Detroit Lions in the fifth round as Guam rules the NFL draft. Now the University of San Diego Torero cornerback is the son of Arlene Bermudez Jones, formerly at Tamuning. 5 feet 10, 186 pounds. He's a four-year starter and the defensive MVP last two seasons. Now he earned first-team All-Pioneer Football League honors last year and he's the Torero's all-time leader in passes defended with 59, notching 148 career tackles, 11 interceptions, and in 2016 he helped USD to a 10-2 and record PFL championship. Hong Kong's national baseball team has been on island competing against teams from the Guam Amateur Baseball League, the Guam Amateur Baseball Association, and Guam Baseball Academy hosting the event at Leo Palace Baseball Field. As part of their national training program, the team from Hong Kong took part in a three-game friendly series. The Hong Kong team consists of players 18 years and older, six coaches, and a total of 24 players putting their skills to the test against the Sumai Chiefs, Rays, and Auto Spot Canyons. The Hong Kong Baseball Association national baseball team is the representative team for Hong Kong in international baseball competition and is currently ranked ninth in the Baseball Federation of Asia. Guam Sports Complex for some DPR Gov Guam Co-Ed Volleyball League. Teeds and High going two sets with JQ San Miguel Eagles. 25-15, 25-3 for the win. Why not with a two-set win over DOE United? 25-15, 25-17. Team Honum getting wet going the distance with Guam Power for the three-set win. 18-25, 25-23, and 15-4. Games for tonight at the Guam Sports Complex, 6.30, GCC Tradesman taking on CL Titano Elementary School, Sin City. 7.30 p.m., the OPA takes on DPHSS. And at 8.30, Depcor on the loose taking on Team Adeloupe. Guam's Jared J-Rad Gogui continues to surf his way to the top in California after relocating from Guam to pursue his dream of becoming a pro surfer. Gogui placed second in the finals at the Huntington Beach Cult Am Pro at Golden West Street, Huntington Beach. Gogui, just 19, competed in the tough men's open division against older competitors in peaky conditions over the weekend. Gogui says waves in Cali are more challenging because unlike Guam's reef breaks, which pretty much break the same way, Cali waves don't have much power to them and can break anywhere along the beach. And for a tomorrow, it's freezing cold in Cali's water. Since crossing over to Cali, Gogui has been pretty successful, even taking first in the 18-29 to 29 men's shortboard division in the Western Surf Association's Oceanside Beach Contest. Uh, Gogui says people from Cali are, quote, tripping out that I'm from Guam. They can barely say my last name, but they're all stoked to have me here. Hey, and we're stoked that you're doing so well out there, J-Rad. Shout out to our Masters basketball teams that competed in the 2017 World Masters Games in New Zealand. Our 30-plus women's team took home the gold medal and finished the tournament undefeated. Team Guahan picked up the 59-27 win over Bruise Not Broken to advance to the gold medal game to face the Melbourne Joyces. Guahan pushed the pace in the second half and pulled away with a win 47-29 for the gold medal finish. 40-plus men's team also took home gold. Gepen got some help from the men's 50-plus squad to defeat Fresh out of New Zealand, 54-38. The team's battling through a smaller pool and even competing against some 30-plus teams along the way. 50-plus men's teams finished the games with a bronze medal. GMBA Boleros got the win against all Native Warriors, 66-57. And the Super Lolos men's 60-plus team came away with some hardware, also winning a bronze medal. In soccer news, sidekick SC, Crown Triple J, Auto Group's Robbie Weber used Soccer League's U10 Level 1 Division champs behind their 6-1 win over Wings of Red. The sidekicks finished the season perfect at 7-0, scoring a total of 59 goals and allowing only 7 throughout the season. ASC Trust Islanders take home the Aloha Made Manette Good Cup Elite Youth League U13 title after beating out the Wings Red 5-2. Mason Sanchez scored two goals, while teammates Riley Rama and EJ Sablan also scored. The last score was an own goal. Mason Sanchez won the league's Golden Boot Award. EJ Sablan was awarded the championship match MVP award. Wings FC 
took home the U15 Division Championship trophy with the win over the ASC Trust Islanders 6-5 in a penalty shootout. The team drew 1-1 after regulation.